Dad, what are you up to? And what are we going to be showing our viewers today? Okay, so I'm taking this shelf out of this uh, greenhouse. We won't be needing this this year. So I thought I'd show everyone how to make a trellis out of this. That sounds really interesting, Dad. For the past couple of weeks, many of you wanted to know how we make a trellis. So in today's video, we'll be showing you how to make a portable trellis from a shelf. And perhaps we could give you an update on our dying plants that we have showed you a week ago. Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. Dad, it's really crowded in here. Can you manage? Yes, sir. I could just, just about manage. It's a bit crowded. We're going to take some of this plant out today. Uh, we do take them out. Uh, it's just that when it's rainy, too rainy, we we'll bring them in. From this shelf to this trellis, and it only took us less than 10 minutes to assemble, it's so easy and simple to make. This is a freestanding garden shelf. If you live in the UK, you can buy this shelf from Milko, which costs less than £20. If you live uh, outside the UK, uh, America or Canada perhaps, you can buy this from your local garden center or from Amazon. It, costs, it will cost you less than $20. When we bought this shelf, it comes in a flat pack with a, with a construction manual. But today we are going to be disassembling this shelf and making it into a trellis. So let's take this apart and then we'll show everyone how to build this beautiful looking trellis in less than 10 minutes. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's do what you get in a flat pack. Eight metal tubes such as this, some elbow connectors and there are other metal tubes. Okay so this is what we're going to do. We're going to using this elbow connectors we're going to connect these four tubes to turn this into square. a square shape frame such as this. So I keep let's just connect them okay. Insert these elbow connectors into the metal tube. Just like that. And put one on the other side, okay? Make sure they're facing the same direction. Once you have inserted the elbow connectors onto the pole, lay them flat onto the ground and get another metal pole and connect them into the holes. Line them up in properly. There we go, that's one done. Now let's do this side. So that's one one frame done, yes? Yeah. So so imagine this is going to be this frame here on the, on the top. top. So you want to build the second frame exactly the same way Akib just showed you. You connect all four poles using those um, elbows so now we're going to be attaching these legs onto this frame so i can put four turn this, turn this around and put those these short ones yeah short ones put them onto there connect them we're going to connect all four of them same size these are going to be the bottom legs now let's okay, so this. turn this around so it becomes like a table. All right, turn this around. And then you're going to be attaching a elbow connector. Elbow connector. When you're connecting the elbow connectors, make sure they're facing each other. You're facing this corner here. Yeah, just like this. They're facing each corner. All right, so attach another pole on top of that, I keep. All right. Once you have connected all four legs on each corner, you will need to get the upper square frame and connect it onto our four pillars. So place that on the top of those four pillars, Akib. So line them up properly and just push it down. It looks like a tall table now, yeah. yes? 
So all we need to add a few canes on, canes on the top to make it uh, so the plants can trail onto this. So we are using these plastic canes which you can buy from Wilkinson. I think uh, it's um, three for two pound. I think three of them cost less than two pound, about two pound. You need six of them. And if you buy the plastic ones, uh, it will last you forever. And uh, the bamboo canes is not going to last you forever. After a couple of years, you have to change them. Uh, and all you need about six of them. Now, place them, space them out evenly. So three this way and the three on the other the side. Other side. And uh, tie them down with um, Wire. wires such as this, which you can buy from Wilkinson and the garden centers. Or you can actually use ropes, uh, ropes strings to tie them down. So now I just tie a loop, but it's best to use those um, wires, uh, it will last you longer. So that's quite nicely done. Unfortunately, Aki, we can't finish this side. We need three more of these uh, plastic canes. So we're going to go to Wilkinson and to buy three more of this cane. Now, doesn't this look amazing? Dad, it does. In, le in less than half an hour, with less than 40 pounds, you can build a um, two meter long trellis. Um, I really like this trellis, but the only problem I have with it, it's really light. It is very light, isn't it? It could be easily blown away by the wind. Yes, the wind that we had, we, we had a few weeks ago, this could be easily blown away. It will go flying. So we need to do something so that it doesn't fly away. Now, so to prevent this uh, being blown away by the wind, get four containers uh, and then add some sand or gravels. Uh, we don't have any sand today, so I'm going to be using some gravel. Uh, fill it up with sand or gravel, something heavy. And you need four of these. So this is already, I can see, heavy. So now lift this and place it right in the center. Now if you have four of these on each corner, now this won't be blown away. If you have a larger container with more sand in it, that will be very heavy. Now, this is one of the bottle gourd plants that we were able to save this year. As you know, we lost many bottle gourd plants uh, because of fungus disease. And this is the only good looking, healthy plant I can, we have in our garden this year. So I'm just hoping this bottle gourd plant will trail onto this trellis here. And hopefully, inshallah, we'll get a few bottle gourd this year. Now let's give you a quick update of our vegetable garden. Let's take you, let's take you back at the back of the garden, uh, which uh, on the main trellis we had beautiful looking plants. But as I said, we lost uh, most of our plants because of the disease. And we managed to save a couple of the plants, but I'm not sure whether we'll get any fruits on it. They look quite unhealthy. We managed to save this plant, but we're not quite sure if we'll get any fruits from it. So what we did was uh, we, we took all the infected leaves and stems, we cut them off. And so we made a homemade fungicide using um, neem, neem oil, oil, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. We'll be we're making a separate video on how to use hydrogen peroxide to get rid of uh, or protect your plants from um, fungus, disease. fungus disease. So like I said, the plant we managed to save, but, and it's beginning to fruit. And the new leaves are turning quite nicely after using hydrogen peroxide. Uh, these are the unhealthy leaves, which I will cut this off actually. So normally this trellis would be full of leaves, leaves and, and vines and maybe fruits coming down. But this year we're not having much luck with our plants, bottle gourd plants. But I can't complain. It's not doing too bad now. It's pretty 
just new leaves. But sometimes I don't do what I preach. This year we had so many extra plants and uh, I've given all my plants away to friends and family. I haven't kept any extras. Now as a gardener, always remember, keep extra plants. You never know when you need them. Now this is two of my plants I was able to save. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping if they get tall, I probably will cut one of these off and put this onto this trellis. Now, many of you have been showing your support, uh, say sending us emails and messages, um, off, offering your um, bottle plants to us, offering your bottle gourd plants to us, even offering to go into your garden to cut one or two bottle gourd this year. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. There's one lady in Barking. She has sent me an email plus uh, sent me a message on the comment section that she has extra plants that we can go and pick them up. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I just I was so busy this week. I couldn't call you, but inshallah I'll call you later today uh, to thank you personally. Um, I don't think we would need any any plants. Uh, I'm just hoping if this healthy looking plant uh, survives, so we can harvest this tomato. Actually, I give look. Look, our first tomatoes tomato. of 2021. Um, so. We're not doing too bad with other plants. Oh wow, that's the second tomato of 2021. So we are doing quite well with the rest of our vegetables, especially tomatoes. I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video on tomatoes. You, you must see the tomatoes I'm growing inside the greenhouse. They're looking fantastically good. These are some of our upside down tomatoes. And this is our first harvest of 2021. Dad, you need to see us in the plant. Look at that baby over there. Just oh, this that. is our first Sissinda of 2021. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So we're not doing too bad, Akib. No, we're not, Dad. Most of our plants are doing really good, especially our chili plants. I'm really proud of our chili plants. No, if just in case you missed our last video, how to get hundreds of chilies on your chili plant. If you're growing chilies this year, we strongly advise you to watch that video. It has uh, full of information on how to get lots of chilies on your chili plant. We we'll leave the link in the description down below, or you can click the eye up here. And it will take you straight to that video. So we're not doing too bad. I can't complain. We had hiccups along the way. We might not get as many bottle gourd this year, or we might not get any, but we're definitely not doing too bad with other, other vegetables. This is the Bangladeshi Ran Kira. I'm going to have this first tomato out here. Do you like a tomato? Yes, please, Dad. Try this tomato out. Okay, let's try this tomato. Mmm, it's so juicy and delicious. Mmm. Master, this is beautiful. That is a 10 out of 10 for me. It's nothing better than growing your own tomatoes and eating them fresh from the plant. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one. Give it a try. It's quite simple to make this trellis. If you enjoy the types of videos that we make, you should definitely consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.